What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, my worthy angels. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dark Light back with another video for y'all. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different, something that I always wanted to do but never did it, especially now for my channel. Um, I'm actually gonna give my predictions on one of my favorite NFL teams. And that will be the Chicago Bears. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I love how our season went last year. And I believe we can make it to the playoffs again. And hopefully the Super Bowl. You know, I'm going to be realistic here. I want to see the Bears go back to the Super Bowl again. And this time, win it. I still want our defense to be number one. I want at least our offense to be at least the top 12. That can happen, I guarantee you, we can do it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into these, uh, this prediction, please. I know that's what y'all want, so let's get into it. Uh, first game is against the Packers. Before I do that, let me throw the schedule. I forgot to do it. So let me go back. But our first game, so our first game is against the Packers. I chopped that up as a win because Bears are gonna be we're gonna come out blazing. Because I think this is supposed to be in yeah, this is supposed to be in Chicago. So the Bears are gonna be looking for revenge, especially what happened last year. They were so close in that first game. Somehow Aaron Rodgers just pulled some magic out of his behind. A couple of busted plays and by the Bears secondary, and somehow we just couldn't pull it off. That even when you had Khalil Mack doing what he doing, forcing fumbles, sacks, getting the interceptions, scoring points. I, like I said, I don't know what happened that game. But I know the Bears are going to come out guns blazing this time. Um, next, we're against the Broncos. Um, I'm not worried about the Broncos. So I chuck them as an automatic game. Because the only key addition to me that means something would be Joe Flacco. But he's a sitting duck because he doesn't, he's not mobile. He's six in the pocket. So if they're going to bring the heat, they. Some one of our bears are probably gonna have three, four sacks of them. And it's probably gonna be uh clear Mac, uh probably two sacks by Keenan Hicks, maybe a sack and a half by Lumber Floyd. <laughs> I mean I don't see no nothing about it. They really don't have have the chemistry they and Joe Flacco wasn't really that big of of a of a player to me. Next, we got the Redskins. I chalked that up as an automatic win as well because we don't know who their starting quarterback is going to be. They've lost Alex Smith, which I don't think he's going to be I don't think he's going to be ready for the game. And I forgot their backup. Colt McCoy, I believe. or It was some I forget who it was. But they lost two of their quarterbacks. Just drafted one. And I think it's in Dwayne Haskins. Rookie. Against the Bears defense. Nah, I think they're going to be coming out to him with everything they got. And then some. So I don't think he's going to do too much to our defense. Next, we got the Vikings. And that's at home. Um, Honestly... We had their number, their number last year. But, to be fair, I don't think Kirk Cousins was the problem last year. I only, like I said, I only watched him, watched him play against the Bears twice. And I don't, like I said, I don't think he was the problem. I think it was something else going on. Probably play calls, defense, I don't know. Something else going on. Because he had a pretty decent season. Especially when he got two 1,000-yard receivers. Stephon Diggs and 
Adam Thielen. Thielen. And then you still had Kyle Rudolph. So, in a decent running game, I, I don't really know. But I think I probably, I, I don't know. And then now he has a year in, uh, under his belt with chemistry with this team. He might, they might be a little bit dangerous. Then again, they might not. So I rather say that we're gonna win this game at home. Uh, next game against the Raiders in London. Now this game right here would probably be a little bit of iffy tip. And here's the reason why. Um, both teams are playing in London. I don't know if the Bears are going to play the same way they always play in London. I mean, in at home or on the road. And this probably just be feel like another road game for them, but they feel like they have to win. And it might end up causing problems because if you think about it, a lot of games that Pittsburgh won is because of Antonio Brown and well, a lot of times that they score is because of Antonio Brown when teams blitz his corner. Somehow being always fast. Now he's with the Raiders. It might cause a little bit of problems. So he might be able to keep up with us. Then again they defense sucks. So they don't have no keep no players. Also. So, but anyway, I will say that this will be a win. Next, we go into the bye week. Then after that, we play the Saints, and we play them at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at home. The South comes to the North. By this time, it, it might be getting around. No, it might be still a, a little bit on the hot tip. <laughs> no, it might be a little bit on the cold too. Maybe just starting to get cold there. Um, like I said, Drew Brees is still one of the best quarterbacks, and they still have Michael Thomas. They still have. Ivan Kamara. Now the only thing about this this game is because in Trubisky's rookie year, we could have beat them. We could have beat them in New Orleans. When we didn't even have Khalil Mack. We didn't even have uh, and I don't even think Eddie Jackson was playing it. We didn't even have Adam Rocks. We didn't have Taylor Gale. We didn't have Trey Burton. That game, we just had Jordan Howard running the ball most. And then they let Trubisky lose a little bit. Zach Miller got hurt. They called that touchdown back even though he held the ball. Um, like I said, we didn't have those players for, for the Saints game. We did two years ago. Now we got this team with Khalil Mack, Roquan Smith. There's always possibilities. But coming off the bye week, I have a feeling that they're going to probably lose this one. This will probably be the game. Because like I said, by me, by looking at that first five games, they go 5-0 and oh into the bye week. I have a feeling the Saints are going to be the one that beats them. So, yeah, I chalked it up as a, 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 a loss. Now, next we are at home again against the Chargers. Hmm, uh, I don't know what to say about the Chargers. The one minute they're, they're just so off and on. One minute they have a game that they're off, another minute they can have a game where they just they're fired. And their defense is, is still intact. Still got Joey Bosa. And I forgot the other guy name, but still have those two players that can get to a quarter. That means our offensive line is gonna have to be tip top and we're gonna have to run the heck out of the ball. 
get some honors. You know, let, you, let them boys come up the field and they have to get behind them. Uh, I'm nervous about it. Really, really nervous. Um, this could be a game where, for some reason, they just be the Chargers can be on fire. They can be just blazing. But they, to me, they don't have much offensive firepower. I chalk that Chargers game up as a loss. I'm sorry. I believe it's a loss. Unless our defense somehow pull away, help pull away by against turnovers in that game. I'm sorry. I believe it was a loss. Now we go to the Eagles and we're playing in Philly. Um, Carson Wentz can end up having an explosive game. We still got a they, they gonna have like I said we gotta go against Jordan Howard which we know more about him his play style and they don't tell how they utilize him um I, and probably I don't know if they still have their Sproles or not I believe they do so in all honesty but the Bears are probably gonna be looking for revenge from Bassey and I have a feeling that the Bears will win that game. Shibu. Now we, we're we going back home against the Lions. I chalk it up as a win. Because I really don't know. Their defense looks like it's going to suck even worse. Because I don't think they have Ezekiel Osler yet anymore. I don't know they franchise I can't remember they franchise tagged him or decided to let him go. That's he's gonna suck. That team's gonna suck. Now they gonna have the offensive firepower a little bit, but they still gonna man. Next we're up against the Rams in LA. Um right now the Rams gonna probably come out. Guns blaze because of what happened last year. They we beat them in Chicago during the cold, and I both quarterbacks kind of played suckish. So, but as you as people probably have seen, Rams rely on their running game, you get play action pass, and all that. Get their receivers across the middle of the field, and you know. Like I said, they lost last season. They're going to be coming out for them. They're going to be coming for our heels. But I still believe the Bears can pull it off. Still believe it. I still believe the Bears can pull it off. Giants in New York. Giants will lose that game. Y'all thought I was going to say that uh, they were going to win. They going to lose. Because Barry's going to be looking for their revenge from last season. First off, we don't know how their quarterback going to play. We don't know their receiving core. Who do, I don't even know who they have for their receivers after giving up Odell Beckham. And then Olivier Vernon. Olivier Vernon. Getting rid of him on defense and a couple of more defensive pieces. I don't know how they're going to play at all. Eli still getting up A. This That might be the game they let one of the backups play. That a rookie play. Honestly, that's why this might be the game where he sits at. But like I said, that's an automatic win. Uh, Next, and after that, we play the Lions again. This time it's in Detroit. In all honesty, I say that's another win. Yeah. Like I was saying, I don't see them being it. They don't have the defense. Yeah, like I said, they still got the chemistry with the offense. But I 
still don't see them going too far. Next, we got the Cowboys in Chicago, another team that comes from the south to the north. And this time, it's doing the code. Honestly, I hope the Bears going to win. I really want the Bears to win. Because I used to have a uh, co worker who's a guy's cowboy fan, and he was always talking smack about the Bears. He used to come to work every day. If we lost, how about them Bears? I mean, you know, he's pissed me off. Then he used to come in. How about them Cowboys? Oh, we're going to make the Super Bowl next year. And, you know, I, that irritated the heck out of him because he did that so much. He was a diehard Cowboys fan. He was always talking that, that man, because he'd be like, man, the Bears lost to, uh, 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 used to lose to the Cowboys. I said, shoot, the last, last time I remember, well, this is probably some years ago when they had Tony Romo to start. Tony Romo threw about four or five interceptions in that game. Like his bread would turn one of them to the end zone. I forgot who, what happened the rest of it. Yeah, but I say that's still a win. Um, now on to the Packers in Green Bay. I really don't know what to say because, like I said, they end up, the Packers going to lose that first game on the road. Then they're going to come back at home. I believe that it's a possibility that we might lose that game. And I mean really lose it. Because of uh, what? Aaron Rodgers is going to probably be looking for revenge unless he gets hurt. Um, you know, and this that might be a game where Aaron Rodgers just pulls the monkey out of his behind. <laughs> and some magic just come out of nowhere again. So, I believe that's going to be a loss. Next, we got the Chiefs at home. <sighs> now, this game is really hard for me to choose because... I mean, it's really hard for me, too, because of Pat Mahomes and Tyreek Hill and that running game. Um, that defense sucks. And I don't know if they got rid of D4 and I forgot, and I forgot the other player name. I don't know if they got rid of them. I don't know if they add some good defensive player. I don't know at all. But that defense sucks. And I don't even hear I ain't even heard if they resign Eric Berry or anything. So I that team that defense sucks. And like I said, if we looking at how last year was, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fire battle. They got some offense to fight about. They can go toe to toe with the Rams like that, like they did last year. Mm. Like I said, our defense got to bring they gonna have to definitely bring the air game. And I also believe that this is also during the code because I think they paid the Patriots in the code to kind of struggle. And I, you know, so it's a Chicago code, we already know how that is. Um And then I believe Pat Mahomes will start to decline his second season. I don't think he's gonna put up five thousand yards, fifty plus touchdowns, or fifty touchdowns, or whatever many touchdowns. I believe he's gonna go down at uh, have a sophomore slump. So I believe we win that game. And I really believe we can beat him. And uh, next, last but not least, the Vikings in Minnesota. I have a feeling this is going to probably be one of those games where they might sit out their starters. Minnesota, which is like the backup straight. 
because by, by this time, the Bears are... Twelve and three by my by my record, my prediction. They're twelve and three by that time, so they're in the playoffs. And I have a feeling that's gonna be like a I believe that's gonna be a, a loss by the Bears. We're gonna lose that game. Cause I think Minnesota's gonna be trying to scratch and claw their way into the playoffs. Think I coach coach gonna bench our starters, keep from getting injuries, you know, give us time. And I believe that's what gonna happen. That's gonna happen. So we're probably going we're so that's a loss. So our Bears team has pretty much went twelve and five. I mean twelve and four. Hmm. Possibility we can have what the same schedule as last year because I'm just looking down at my notes and what I have. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I'm gonna change something, I'm gonna probably change one game, and I'm gonna backtrack to the Chiefs. I think our last three games we're gonna probably lose. I believe we're gonna probably lose two. So we're gonna have probably eleven and five in the season. Because I don't want to because like I said, Aaron, we play the Packers. The last three games are Packers, Chiefs, and the Vikings. I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna lose to the Packers at the second game. And then Chiefs might pull some out there behind and beat us. So they're going to drop us. And Vikings by us going to be clawing and scratching to get in the playoffs. We're going to probably lose that last game. So I'm looking at 11-5 11, 11 team. 11-5. We can do it again. Make it to the we're in the playoffs. All we gotta do now is just make it to the Super Bowl after that. But yeah, that's my prediction for my Chicago Bears. Like I said, I hope they go 12 and 4. I hope they beat the Chiefs. But you know, I it might be it might be one of those difficult games. It might be coming down to because our defense going to have that one game where we just, they, they kind of struggle or blow coverages or something like that. And like I said, that, that would probably be the most likely game that might happen. And like I said, Chiefs are coming going to be playing in Chicago. The cold. Like I said, it might be the one game that they lose. It might be a possibility that that's more of a toss-up. But yeah, y'all like this video? Y'all please give it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment. If y'all new to the channel, y'all please subscribe because I'm gonna probably be doing more for this football team. Now NFL is is going to start. So, but yeah, I would love to hear y'all records of what y'all think the Bears are gonna be next year. So y'all please leave a comment. Let me hear from y'all. So, this is Dark Light, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Cheerio.